cops have the tendency to be aggressive and act like the biggest person in the room. Today, we'll be looking at some of these cocky cops getting what they deserve. First up, we have the time this NYPD officer stopped an Uber driver to harass him and be racist to him. It's, uh, this guy's just a Yeah. <laughs> to put it mildly. Yeah, I mean, he shouldn't be slamming your car. Or yeah, just, he shouldn't be slamming your car door. He shouldn't be he right throwing things yeah. around. Yeah, he doesn't have a right to open your door. Yeah, no, like, he's... he's. I don't think he could have really arrested you. I don't <laughs> you weren't under arrest. I think he's just on, on a power trip right now. Yeah. Because you honked at him. Because you honked. Because he, he didn't have a blinker on. No. I mean, if you're going to park, you're supposed to put your blinker on. That's the way this works. That's why I'm saying. No, no, I know. Yeah, but you know, I know. I, yeah, I, I know. would just not say anything. Don't say anything. Just, just you're going to be. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. That's it. Now, let me tell you something. The next time you do it again, okay. you're getting your. Okay, what? You're going to let me finish? Stop, I'm Stop gonna... interrupting me. Okay. Apologize. I'm sorry. Well, who do you think you're talking to here? Sir, I'm not saying nothing. Said, no, every that. time I open my mouth, you have something to say. When you're driving up my ass when I'm trying to park the car, and then you have to do something with your hands. Sir, I just say... I don't okay. care what you okay. have to say. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand. People are allowed to park in this car, okay. park their cars okay. on the side of the street without your interference. Okay, and then your opinion about what's going on. Okay, sir. Okay? Especially when the person you're doing it to are the police. Okay, sir. I don't know where you where you're coming from or I'm where you think you're something. appropriate in doing that. Okay. That doesn't it's not the way it works. Okay, how long have you been in this country? Almost two years. Almost how long? Two years. Two years. I got news for you. And use this lesson. Remember this in the future. Don't ever do that again. Okay. The only reason you're not in handcuffs going to jail and getting summages in the precinct is because I have things to do. Okay. That's the only reason that's not happening. Because this isn't important enough for me. You're not important enough. Don't ever do that again. Okay. Do you? Are you a fair? Yes. You're a fair? Yes. And this guy is taking time out of your day for his vehicle and traffic violations. Sure. Thank you. Can you take that plate number, please? I have his plate. Oh. Then months later, this news article came out. The detective was stripped of his shield and gun and placed on desk duty until he was transferred out of the prestigious division. This next lady is not letting anyone get in between her and her pregnant friend that was in labor, not even the cops. These numbers. I wanna know what the emergency is. Yeah? I want names and badge numbers. Why are you blocking off a whole road? There's a pregnant woman. What's your name and badge number? What's yours? So this is legal to block a whole road? For what? So what, what is this? Yeah, then move. Then move. Get off the road. You have no right to block a whole road. Tyrants. Get out of here. Bunch of in costumes. Next, we have a retired officer that was flashing his cruiser lights and was wearing a very similar outfit to the cops. He got stopped for impersonating. All right, Mr. Mackey, there's your ID back. Thank you. Look, um, given with all the light and permit and stuff that I'm seeing, I'm just going to assume everything's properly permitted and stuff for the vehicle. It is, sir. Uh, that said, with what my chief's observation, you know, the use of those are for strictly business purposes. You, you, can't, right. you can't be using it to pull into traffic, okay? Yes, sir. So I am going to issue a citation for unlawful, unlawful operation for emergency vehicle, okay? Just, just here. Just I know, let me just me. talk to the chief real quick before, because I'm telling you how it's going to work. Even though I'm doing this on my private side, once I get this ticket, GDOT is going to grind me again. I'm going to get grounded. And I try to, that's why I try to don't interfere my personal business with GDOT. Anytime they run our driver's license number, I'm going to get grounded. I'm pleased. I ask the chief, please. I hear, but you have to understand that this whole this whole scenario is a big issue for us, too, because no, the uniform no, and lights and all that, no, no, this is when it no, gets... The thing is, this is my company. I run my company respectfully, okay, okay because I deal with high clients. This is my uniform. Nothing on me say officer, nothing. This is my uniform. I got you. You understand? I got but you. please, I just want to talk to the chief. I know you're going to still do your job. I mean no harm. You can okay. check me, my badge number is 4401 the express means. Just, just hear me out. I don't want to get if the, if, the, if the chief wants to argue, that's fine, but this is going to stand, all right? Just let me explain this. What I need you to do is sign here at the X. Signing is not an admission. I know, I know, I know okay. the routines. All right. I'm a former police in the Bahamas, I know. Okay. 
Do you need a pen? There yes, you go. Sir, please, if you could, I go. Everything I point out to everyone else, auto-generated court date right now is showing for the 18th of August at 9 a.m. at our court. The address is right there on the back of your copy. This phone number right here is to the court services. It takes about three to five business days right. for and the hello. citation. G give them a call and we'll explain everything to you. Okay. Do you have any further? Do I have to attend the court? I just can pay it because I already. But once you contact that number, they'll tell you all your options if, uh, if you can just pay it outright and, and they'll explain your payment and, problems. And. It later came out that he was actually impersonating an officer and he was arrested two days later. Up next, we have the time an officer pulled a guy over because he looked suspicious. He's going to need more than just that, though. For what? Because I told you to. You haven't have a reason, sir. You didn't. You I'll didn't pull you me what. over. But Either you didn't get pull the me license over. License out, or I'll hit for a backup and call I'll your, call your supervisor. Out of the car. Call, call, your supervisor. Your call your supervisor. Call your supervisor, sir. Call your supervisor. Get your driver's license out right now. Call your supervisor. Get Please your call your supervisor. Because you had no. You're not pulling me over, neither. You get your driver's license call out your right supervisor. now. Show me ID. Call your supervisor. What do you need my ID for, sir? Well, because you you want to run your mouth to me. No, because you was looking at my license plate That's for what? Exactly. For what? You don't exactly. have the right to run this. I got my rights to do right anything to I want to do. I'm a police officer. You can't that, run that, that doesn't mean anything. Out, it doesn't I'll mean anything. I'll pull you over and I'll tow your car. You see, he said. So he's not getting a supervisor. We requested a supervisor. I don't mind showing you my driver's license, Show me your but driver's you're, what license. is your reason that you're asking? Because. Why? Because you're acting suspicious. How About you what? You we, what? You we uh, was in there shopping. No, I said, show me your driver's what license. Is the, what is the what is this what is this uh, suspicion, sir? Get your driver's license out. You can't you can't Just state show the me your driver's license. That's sir, all I want to say. You're not explaining to me. You didn't pull well, me I'm over. To you, you jumped at your car. And ask me, did an I want investigation. to? What's the investigation? What are you investigating? Look, you just see me in there shopping? Because we spent, I paid. Because we paid money. I paid for everything out. that I bought. Get your driver's license out. Sir. Show me your driver's license. If you if you don't got no warrants or nothing, you're gone. I don't have no problem. What, or, what is the reason Get that you're your stopping me? License. I'm not going to argue with you no more. I'm not if arguing. I'm yeah. trying to understand your something. License. What's your name, officer? That's all I want, because we're following the... Give me a license and you can go. We asked for a supervisor. You did not understand. I'm, I'm not going to get a supervisor. I'm asking for your name. I'm off-duty employment. You're off-duty? Exactly. Off-duty employment. If you're off-duty, then why are you stopping people? I'm stopping you because you're suspicious. <laughs> why are we what? suspicious? Well, what'd you come back around for? Because I want to know no, your, your... No, you jumped out of the car on us exactly. because we looked at you. Because I don't know what you guys are doing. Now, show me your You don't know what license. we're doing? You just seen show us shopping. Show me your driver's license. You don't look. You see all these bags in the back of the car? We just came out of the store seeing you, so you Tell know what we're doing. Side. Then another officer shows up, and this happens. Yeah, as, as far as as far as I know, based upon what happened, I, I don't think either of us have any reasonable suspicion to believe right. that there's a crime taking place. Right. It says there's no reason for a traffic stop at this point. Right. So there's no legal requirement for you to identify yourself to an officer at that right. point. So right. if you don't want to give him ID, then you know you don't have to give him ID at and, that point. And that's and we tried to we tried to be calm and talk to him I like that, you. and he just. I don't have to tell you anything. He's leaning in the car, spitting all in the car. He's just, okay. I don't know if he's having a bad day. His wife that left him. I don't know. Could be. I don't Your know. Your guess man. is as good as mine. But hey, man, I appreciate as far you, as boss. I'm concerned, you guys are good to go. All yes, right, sir. Take care, all right. Right. Appreciate it. The officer was later relieved of his duty as a police officer. Moving on, these cops don't exactly get calmer, but the guy they're chasing sure does. Take a look at this insane moment when a lady helped cops track a criminal down with her ring camera. <laughs> Hello? Is someone there? Yes, this is Officer Sarver with Arno Police Department. Hi, what can there? I help you with? Yeah, are you there? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so I just chased the subject around your house, and I was making sure he wouldn't have came in here. Do you guys have any kids? No, we don't have any kids. And who, is there any younger adults that stay here? Uh, it's just me and my husband. We both work during the day. Okay. Do I need to come okay, home? Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate it. No, you're fine. All right, well, I'm you fine. Check, see if your camera, see if your camera picked up any motion. Um, okay, we're looking for a subject in a red t-shirt. Okay. Give me a second. Yep. 
He's in my trash can. He's in my dumpster in my Where's backyard. He's in my trash can by my garage. And now for the confrontation. Hey! Open that lid! Now, I know you're in there. Get up! Fuck out! Put your hands down! Come on! Keep going! Try to run and put a fucking tape on him. He's so funny. Who's laughing? Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, that's cool. Call your husband up. Anybody? I know, I'm good. Now for the time an officer pointed a gun at a 10 year old and lived to regret it. Hands, hands, put the phone down now, sit, lay down, lay down, lay down, put the phone down. Stand up, okay? Stand up, you're good. Stand up, I got you. Hey, you're good, you're good, all right? Stand up, I got you. You're gonna be okay. Stand up, I got you. I'm gonna detain you for right now, okay? Let me get every phone, but set it on the ground so we don't break it, all right? Are you okay? That's fine. These come off just as easy, all right? Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Sorry, now we got okay. two detained. Car secure. Can you put him up? Two detained, 1534. Is there anything in Fox we need to know about? No, no, nothing. All right. Okay, you You're okay, all right? Be a temp tag. Charles Who's in the car with you? It's your dad? Okay. Do you, do you know why he took off running? Huh? You know why he took off running? No. Okay. Alright, he's gonna be okay too, don't worry about it, alright? You're okay, everything's gonna be fine. Stop pulling away from me! Stop moving! Stop! Wow! Stop! Where's the sergeant? Stop! Get off of me, dude! Stop! I'm gonna pull your mask up, okay? You're okay, you're not hurt at all? No! Are you in ambulance training? Scared. Everything's gonna be good, don't worry about it, alright? Three minutes out on JXL, we're gonna take the patch off and enter up on the Metro East. The detail will be on interrupt. Then the dad sees their child in handcuffs and does not stay silent. Yep, we'll let you make some phone calls in this little He's okay! He's okay! He's, okay. He's alright! Here, do me a favor, let's go over to the side of the car, okay? You're good, you're good. You're good. It's Where's your mom at? He's at home. Why y'all got my okay. son in handcuffs? All right. Why y'all got my son in handcuffs, bro? Okay. Here, let's go over to my car. We'll get you out of those handcuffs, all right? Hey. Take him out of handcuffs. Okay. I was actually just taking him over to the car to do it. All right, you're good. Do you want to call your mom? Yeah. All right, we can call your mom. You want to have a seat right there on the yeah, curb? Go inside the curb, all right? Curve. Right there. You're, you're good. You can stand. You can sit. It's up to you. I get it. Hello? Yes. You don't have to come home. I gotta come pick you up. I don't know. What is it? Huron Street? Huron Street? The Kroger on Huron Street in 94. Kroger on Huron Street 94. What do you mean? What's going on? My dad got pulled over. 
a few months later, that same officer had been served with a lawsuit of $400,000 for causing emotional injury to the young boy, for pointing a gun at him, and for putting him in cuffs. Now for the time a Texas Ranger pulls a gun on a man after a road rage incident. Round Rock police rush to a call for help. A driver talking to a 911 operator says someone is trying to pull him over. It's a white pickup truck, and the guy's wearing a suit. And he brake checked me, and I went around him on the right side, gave him the finger, and he turned all these lights and sirens on. Moments later, before officers arrive, the man following the driver points a gun at him as he sits in his car. Do you have your ID with you? And then we're going to move up in this yes, parking lot and get this ID. figured out. The officer figures out the man who pulled the gun is Texas Ranger Michael Smith driving an unmarked DPS pickup. Driver David Van Curen is fuming and wants to talk to the Ranger's boss. I want the director of DPS down here to talk to this guy. He doesn't he deserve to be doing that. And then when I ask him who he is, he, all I see is a gun shaking and I'm like this. So what happened? Ranger Smith claims Van Curen almost crashed into his truck as traffic slowed. Goes around me, flies around me real fast, okay. Shoots me the bird, okay. and this house was my truck. Got a truck, I demand to get out, okay. He puts the car in reverse. But there's a crucial piece of evidence that was only caught on the 911 call. It is the only thing that proves the Ranger did pull his gun out. He's getting out of the car now. He's got his gun drawn and he has no bed. What the at the scene, Ranger Smith also backs off his claim. The motorist almost crashed into him. Tell me what you want, though. Man, I want him cited, but there's nothing good to cite him for. Yeah. Besides, yeah. Nothing good to cite him for. Yeah. You know, he didn't strike my vehicle. I took a little base back to missing. Okay. Did he cross the line when he did that? I don't think he did, no. Okay. At what point did you realize that this guy was an officer? When he was right next to my window with his gun in my face. And I said, are you crazy? Who are you? Okay. And he said, oh, the DPS ranger. And I'm like, it later came out that the ranger was dealt with appropriately for his unacceptable actions. The DPS did not answer any further questions.